Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about how to find the mean and standard deviation of a normal distribution given the area on of two tails. What is the area and two tails is given? We got to find the mean and the standard deviation. So without further ado, let's get started by sharing my screen with you. In a certain normal distribution, area to the left of 42, as shown on the diagram on the left, is 0 0.0125, and area to the right of 48, as shown on the diagram, is 0 0.0125. Find mu and sigma. Uh, we translated the same information into a standard normal curve, where the center where the mean is g equal to 0 on the horizontal axis, and we have to find the two unknowns z1 and z2 such that the area under the left area in the left tail under the normal curve is 0 0.0125 and area in the right tail to the right of z2 is 0 0.0125 now in order to find z1 and using ti84 calculator we will use the function second key, then verse key, and then scroll down to M norm. And area in the left tail is 0 0.0125. And for Z to find Z2, area in the left of Z2 will be 1 minus 0 0.0125. Total area under the curve is 1. And 0 0.0125 is the area in the right tail. So area to the left of Z2. Remember, Z2 is in the right tail, is 1 minus 0 0.0125, which is 0 0.9875. So, we are going to use, use TI84. Then, second key. Then verse key, then scroll down to number three, which is in norm. Okay, you will plug in area. Area is equal to 0 0.0125 and mean leave it at 0, sigma leave it at 1. This is because this is a standard normal curve. And Z1 will work out to minus 2.24. Okay. For Z2, Area in the left tail, as I mentioned before, is 0 0.9875. That is the area under the normal curve to the left of Z2. Mean is zero standard deviation in one. And you'll get Z2, same value with a positive sign, 2.24. Now we need to find mu and sigma. Okay. Remember the definition of Z1. So Z1 is x minus x1 minus mu divided by sigma okay so minus minus 2.24 is equal to x1 is uh, 42 okay because we know x1 is 42 because in the problem they say area to the left of 42 Mine area to the left of 42 is 0 0.01 minus mu divided by sigma. And for Z2, 2.24 is equal to area to the left is 0 0.9875. So Z2 is 48, X2 is 48, sorry, 48 minus mu divided by sigma. Okay. So we have uh, from this one equation, we will multiply both sides by sigma and get minus 2.24 sigma is equal to 48 to minus mu, which can be simplified 
uh, okay, which can be simplified to get uh, mu is equal to 42 plus 2.24 sigma. Okay, and from this equation, from the this equation, we can get multiplying both sides by sigma, we get 2.24 sigma is equal to 48 minus mu. Or mu is equal to 48 minus 2.24 sigma. Okay, make sure I've done it correctly. Yes. So now we can equate the two equations for mu to get 42 plus 2.24 sigma is equal to 48 minus 2.24 sigma. Okay. Or we will get, bring the 2.24 sigma from the right hand side to the left hand side. We get 2.24 sigma plus 2.24 sigma, which is 4.24. 4.48 sigma is equal to 48 minus 42, which is equal to 6. And sigma, so sigma is equal to 6 divided by uh, 4.48. So sigma is equal to 6 divided by 4.48. 6 divided by 4.48 is 1.339. So sigma is 1.339. And here over here we can then write mu is equal to 42 plus 2.24 times sigma, which is 2.24 times 1.339. Our mu will work out to uh, 2.24 times 1.339 plus 42, which is 44.99. Point nine nine nine, or mu is forty four point nine nine nine, which is almost equal to forty five. Hence, mu is equal to forty five. So mu is equal to forty five, and sigma is equal to sigma is one point three three nine. Okay, for this problem. I will stop here today. If you have any question, you can always write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Uh, I'll come back next time with another interesting problem. Take care and have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.